All right, Lewis. Like speaking two, of uh, speaking of features no one knew about, how's that for a segue? Uh, wow, man, did you, you did that on the fly. I know that that could that was wow. That's impressive. That's what happens when you podcast for thirteen or fourteen or twelve years, whichever one is actually true. I'm not sure. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, we did a little post. Uh, this was by our own Rajesh Pandey. Yeah, he wrote eleven hidden iOS eighteen features Apple did not tell you about. They're sneaky. They like to hide stuff. So, uh, and one of these, uh, you know, as, as mentioned, 11 items. Uh, it, this is probably going to grow as time goes on because there's bound to be more things to show up. But w- one of the cool things, uh, it's super minor, but this is the kind of thing I love. Pressing the volume or side button on your iPhone triggers an animation that makes the screen bezel look like it's expanding. Oh. Did you see that did in the video? Say, did you say bezel? A bezel, bezo. I don't know how to pronounce it. Okay, bezel, no. bezel, bezel. Yeah, so it, it's like, like it's like you click the volume, like either a side button or the power button on your phone, and it's like you're you're squishing the black in a little bit on the screen. It's really cool. Yeah, it, it's that is one of those super cool little uh, UI things that Apple does that you go, wow, that is thoughtful, well implemented. Doesn't you know make your phone do something screwy that you don't like? It's just it's just a nice touch. Uh, you can see why they didn't mention it, but anyway, it looks cool. Uh, <clears throat> you were just talking about all the home screen customization options. One of the things you can do is you can hide the app labels, the name, the names. You know, the oh, names that are, actually is handy. Very clean looking, right? Yeah, I mean, who needs to see the actual name of the app beneath the icon? Now, what I don't know is if if you can hide those one by one. No, you, you have to do you, you, you switch on larger or icons, and then all of the icons get slightly larger, and they ship and they hide the labels. Ah, ah okay. wonderful! I love that. I've got so many apps on my iPhone that I never use and don't like. I I'm stunned that they're even there when they show up in a search. I'm like, what is this? I don't even I can't remember what they were. Anyway, let's see. Uh, you can already adjust the flashlight intensity on the iPhone to the control center, but in iOS 18, you can change the flashlight width, like the beam that it shoots out. Have you seen that in action? No. There's a tweet on the page that shows it. It's pretty interesting. You can change the 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 angle of the beam. Is that what you said? The the like the width of the beam. You know, like no way. The, the focus of the beam. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, uh, oh whoa! Also... That's crazy. <laughs> I, I knew you'd like that. Let's see. A uh, virtual power button added to the control center, so you don't have to remember exactly how you turn the thing on and off. <laughs> Let's see. That's handy, actually. Uh, yeah. Search function in the settings menu in iOS 18 will automatically show relevant suggestions based on your past usage. Might be handy. Might be another thing where it tricks you and keeps switching it out even as you're typing. <laughs> press the wrong thing. You got to go dive back in. Dude, that screen bezel thing when you press the volume button. I'm it's watching cool, it. isn't it? <laughs> it that, that is, uh, that is slick. That is a bonkers UI effect. The fact that they even thought about that, so it, it it emulates pressure on the on the outside band of the phone to make it look like you're pressing in on the frame of the phone when it's just a UI it's, effect. It's like uh, it's like the rubber band effect from way back in the day, right? Yeah, and uh, it's just one of those little cool things that you just say, "Wow, that is that is quality." That's quality right there. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't do a thing. It doesn't make the phone work faster, run. F- it probably makes it the battery, you know, 0.01%. <laughs> it probably drains less. the battery, yeah. But uh, it's quality you know, workmanship right there, Lewis. It's, quality it's workmanship. Excellent. I agree. Let's see. I don't, I don't know how much more this. This is actually look pretty major too. The iCloud page gets a major up, upgrade. It looks if you show a screenshot of that, it looks way, way, way different and actually in useful ways because it's it's kind of weird. I mean, I, every time I dive into the iCloud part of the phone, it's like. Just seems really anemic. This look. This looks great. I don't know if you've checked that out. Yeah, uh, I'm any, looking. Any thing that I've noticed in the settings app is that, like, uh, if you go to different pages, like the general page or the accessibility page, or uh, like the Wi-Fi page, it has these nice, nice little like friendly explanatory like cards on the top of the screen. There's like explains the kind of settings that you can expect to find there. So it'll, you know, teach people over time where to find certain settings. Cool. All right. Let's see. Uh... And this was the first one in the uh, in the post, and and we were talking about before the show. It's a little confusing, uh, but it's actually a, a great thing. They they tweaked the recents tab in the i in the phone app, so that now when you go in there, you see the list of people who've called you recently. You don't if you, there's like a a 
call button or something or a icon that 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 lets you 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 can easily press a thing that pulls up the contact as opposed to like right now you have to you know click on that remember to click on that little eye icon over the right and if you happen to click on the person's name or tap on the person's name instead you automatically call them and you know i that happens to be all the time i mean because to be honest i don't use the phone that often and when i do use it i almost never use it for in that way it's always always like you know hey you know what's her name please call such and such which by the way at least 50 percent of the time it gets it right that's ai (laughs) that's a power of ai that's why NVIDIA's stock is going to the moon. It's like to clarify, if you're in the recents tab and you tap on any row item right now, it'll default to immediately calling that person. And you have to tap on the tiny little eye to see the details of the call, which is probably what you mean to do. And in iOS 18, that's reversed. Where now if you tap the row, it'll show up the detail view and you have to tap a little phone button if you want to try and call them. It makes it much, much harder to accidentally call somebody when you, yeah. all you really want to know is who is this person that called me? You know, right yourself. now it's like walking through a, a, a like a minefield or something, trying not yeah. to call anybody with your finger accidentally. Exactly. Let's see uh, what else. Anything we got else, here? Lewis? Uh, I think you hit all the beats. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I didn't even understand the Files app it has a keep downloaded option. I for oh. file saved on iCloud. I, I mean, I understand what that is, but I've never uh, that's not that never run into that being a problem. This this is cool though. Offline Apple Maps syncing with Apple Watch, first time ever. Apparently, I didn't. I, I, I'm, that's one of those things. Like I'm surprised. Really, it doesn't work with Apple Watch. But I I guess I've never tried it. I, I never. I I don't have a. Well, I don't often go anywhere without my phone. So why would I do that? But anyway, uh, I think that's I think that's maybe eleven. I don't know. Can't remember. Yeah. Anyway, that's, that's all. I, that's all you got on there. Okay. Uh, we'll keep all adding right. to it as time goes on, and we discover more, or you know, the internet discovers more. Hidden features in iOS. 18. I always love the hidden features stuff because there's always so many features that are packed in there that they don't have time to discuss at the keynote and their life improvements that you just get to stumble on. And so like the hidden iOS features, it's one of my favorite segments that we do every single yeah. time they make uh, or create new versions of iOS because there's always a ton of stuff in there that you discover, right? And they're little nuggets that you wouldn't have heard about from Apple. What One thing that I don't, I don't know if they mentioned this in the um, the WWEC 24 keynote, but uh, the way that the Siri UI works, where it like lights up around the edges yeah. or something, mm-hmm. that looks really uh, pretty. Is that is that working now in the in the beta or? No, that new UI only comes to the new Siri. So if you don't have, ah. like right now, Siri looks exactly as it always has, and it will for everybody who doesn't have an iPhone 15 Pro. Oh. Right, right. I got or it. 16 because the, the the around the screen edge UI for Siri is supposed to indicate uh, Siri is looking at your entire screen and can take action on what you're doing. Like, oh, you'll, you'll just have the it's Siri symbolic. Uh, okay, yeah. I didn't even realize that. No, that is interesting. I didn't realize that either. That's pretty cool. Of course, of it, course, it's got additional meaning. I of course haven't tried it because I'm not going to download an iOS beta. No. And it's also not in there. All all the Apple, none of the Apple intelligence features are in the first beta at all. But people have been posting shots of that, right? Because there is some kind of way you can like tweak. There's some kind of tweak you can do to to supposedly get the new Siri. But I don't. I've never uh, yet come to figure out if that's actually the new Siri UI or the actual new super powered extra, almost kind of smart Siri. Or what it is. I don't know exactly that. what the distinction is, but I, I have seen that process, and I'm in the I'm I'm in the middle of You're trying to do it myself. It's 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 a very complicated uh, set of steps <laughs> you have to go through. Just to have that new user interface. Hey, you know what? It looks pretty cool. Every time you use it, you say, "Wow, I'm glad I went through all that time and effort." This is the kind of hard hitting investigative journalism you can find <laughs> at cultofmac.com. That is true. Investigative <laughs> journalism. 